so as i said in the previous video in this video we shall start with developing the flutter part so before we dive right into the code i just want to open figma and show you a few things so uh, i added uh, two new screens okay and i'll tell you how the flow is going to be so for uh, uh, means uh, prototyping means uh, deciding how the flow is going to be we need to go in the prototyping section okay then uh, from here everything is very simple i select this screen now if i want now if uh, this screen is clicked i want to go on the seller screen so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this uh, big uh, white circle and drag it to the screen to the next screen where i want uh, it to go okay now over here i have many options to choose i am just going to make it smart animate okay now so this is done so now what will happen then that if we click on this screen in figma preview we will be taken to this screen and now over here if i click on this item i want to go on the product screen so that is how our flow is going to be that uh, if i click on any of the seller i will be able to see all the products that that seller has okay and then after that if uh, any of the product is clicked then we will for sure go to its uh, product details okay so with this our very basic prototyping is done let's see okay so now if i click on this screen i am taken to the category screen and you saw how the better buy which was in center flew to the top left corner this is called hero animation and we shall be doing it okay and then after that if i click on this i am taken to the product screen and now if i click on any of the products i am able to see its details so this is what our flow is going to be for now so let's uh, open uh, uh, vs code and start coding okay so first i'll create a new project i am going to write flutter create better buys so this will create a flutter project with the name better buys okay so this will take a few seconds and in the meantime i have opened my emulator uh, you can open your simulator um, or the you can connect your uh, real device with it okay so now once this is built i'll open this folder okay means this project okay Okay so once it is open I'll simply start building it. Okay so in main dot dot uh we, over here we have all the starting code okay so I'll go to run run without debugging. And now it has started running so this is the initial project that flutter comes with. If I click on this the value is going to change over here. so we are going to remove this and uh, directly start with our uh, splash screen so i'll uh, remove all the unnecessary code this complete my home it is not required okay now i'll remove this comments as well and i also want to remove this uh, debug uh, mode uh, banner that we have over here so for that we have a key value property called debug show checked mode banner i am going to make it false okay and after this uh, i am going to create a new folder inside my lib folder okay that is going to be screens okay and then inside this i am going to create a new file that is going to be splash screen dot dot okay so now this screen is created over here i'll import the uh, flutter material so import material dot flutter a uh, dot dot i'm sorry okay then after that i'll create a stateless widget 
okay that is gonna be called splash screen okay then instead of returning a container we are gonna return a scaffold because every screen should have a scaffold then a scaffold has a home okay so now the home is gonna be a container and inside the container we are gonna have a child and the child is gonna be text and the text is splash screen okay so this is done okay so i don't know why it is giving an error okay so it doesn't have a home but it has a body i am extremely sorry for that okay so the body is gonna be a container okay and now we have this i'm gonna import it in our main dot dot and add it in the home so that as soon as the app starts we are able to see this screen which is in turn our splash screen so to import any local files uh, the standard practice is if you leave a line and use referential operator okay so i'm gonna write import dot slash and that is uh, instance of this uh, class then inside this we in this folder i'm sorry then inside this we have the screens folder and then we have the splash screen okay and now over here instead of my home page it is gonna be splash screen okay so this is done and now over here instead of this i'm gonna use an arrow operator okay because that is better and that is also recommended so this is done let's save this okay so once this is complete we can uh, see splash screen but it is in the uh, top left corner and it is almost hidden by the notch okay so we'll fix uh, so that is not an issue but uh, we got to see that our screen is intact okay so let's see the design the first thing we notice is the background color so uh, let's get back to design so i'm gonna uh, so get this color and that is this okay so now inside our splash screen the container has a parameter called color okay and then it will take a color color class and then i can simply write the code of the color so now what happens is that this color uh, requires a hexadecimal now even though it is a hexadecimal the color will color class will read it as a string okay so to convert so to make the color class read it as an hexadecimal all we need to do is add a zero x f f okay so this f f stands for opacity and this is the format in which uh, this color understands okay so now if i save this this color should be applied on our screen so let's see okay and it is only applied to this part i'm sorry i'll remove this now let's see and the color is applied to the entire screen okay now in center we need a better wise in text okay so for that i'm gonna have a child and the child is a text the text says better buys okay and the text should be in the center so for that i'm gonna write alignment and then from the alignment enum i am gonna use center okay so this is done let's save this and now we can see better buys in the center well although this font and color is very different from what we have here so you can see the font we have over here is pacifico okay so now to add this font in our project we are gonna use a package that is uh, google fonts package okay so for that i'm gonna write to google fonts flutter so this will take us to the package i'm extremely sorry 
okay so i am extremely sorry for that so the first link that is pub.dev has this package that is google fonts okay so i'm going to copy it and simply paste it in my pubspec.yaml file so in pubspec.yaml inside dependencies i'll place this and save this and then uh, pub get should automatically start running and it did okay so this is the package that we are going to use we can use this to add any kind of font all we need to do is in the style inside uh, text widget we just need to write google fonts and the font name okay so the proper instructions of installing is over here okay and this is the package that we add so i copied it uh, we'll have to wait for a few seconds for this to complete running so once this is done we'll open our splash screen and over here i'll simply paste it so now let's apply the pacifico font in our text so simply we are gonna go here write a style and then google fonts dot pacifico okay so now let's uh, wait for this google font to recognize pacifico because it runs on real time in the on the internet so it will take a few moments okay so once it has recognized let's save this and see okay so now you can see once it has completed we get a bunch of uh, errors over here and that is because we added a package and didn't restart it so the next time when we restart it uh, so or just start it uh, we will not be seeing these errors but anyways the font is applied now we just need to change the color and its size so for that inside this we have a property called color okay and that takes a color now again we need to get the color from our figma file so i'll simply copy this uh, paste it over here and it, and the color class will not understand so i'll have to add 0x for ff in front of it okay and then along with this i'll also change the size okay so the size is gonna be 20 let's see how it looks if it is not in accordance with our design we shall change it again so let's format it so once it is formatted let's save it okay and now you can see a uh, better buys is here but it is uh, very small i shall increase the size let's make it to 25 okay so uh, over here it is actually the pixels size okay so it can be a little bit more bigger let's make it 27 and uh, this looks fine okay this is looking very aesthetical now in the next video we shall continue to the next screen okay so this was for the video thank you